All right, guys, today I want to talk to you about algorithms. If you've been following my live streams, I've been doing algorithms for quite some time, and there's a reason for it. I don't just like pounding my head against the wall and being frustrated, and a lot of times that's what people associate with algorithms. What, why, so why do algorithms? Well, one, you'll become a better developer. You'll use functions that you haven't used too often. You'll learn more about a language in the process. You'll reformat your brain to really think like a much better developer. And I've been doing that. You can do it on Free Code Camp. I've been doing it on Code Fights for a variety of reasons. One of them being that they have a very organized path and they're hard, man. And they they have actual questions from, you know, Google and Facebook and LinkedIn, questions that you can expect to have in one of these algorithm tests. So that's why I've been studying them. But in terms of like this one right here is an example from Google this little one right here and this is the easy one of the easy ones but what so why do companies why 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 algorithms so and what if you're not familiar with it what makes algorithms so important well a lot of times most of us as developers think oh well if i'm good with angular I'm, especially in, in web development i'm good with angular i'm good with react then cool man I, I have the framework i have the necessary prereqs i'm good to go that's not always the case especially when you start moving on to bigger companies what they're going to actually ask on top of the portfolio is they're going to ask you to take a skills test. They're going to ask you to be solving algorithms. And they're hard, all of them. It doesn't matter how small or how large of a company, they're hard. And the positive side to that is say you didn't have the time to learn Angular or React, what that basically does is you pass the algorithms, it validates you to a degree as a developer, and they know that you have the skills required to move forward to to prove to the world that hey what this person solved these solutions they can think like a programmer they can break problems down they can uh, do very critical thinking that's really necessary when thinking about how to be a developer that's really what it comes down to you have to think about very complex things oftentimes very abstractly and you are saying, hey, I'm qualified. I solved what you put in front of me, the puzzle, essentially. I'm the puzzle master. Let me move forward. And that sounds kind of crazy, but at times, because you're like, well, what if you don't have a portfolio? He's like, does a portfolio help you along with algorithms? Of course it does. Just like a CS degree helps you, just like a, a um, years of experience helps you, you're still probably going to have to take the algorithm test, even for senior developer spots. But, but, if you can pass and you've really thought like a programmer, it, it really can help you. If you can get your foot in the door, it can help you get to that next level, get to where you need to go. And I, I'm telling you right now that if you haven't had interviews yet, and especially, you know, some of you are more, my channel tends to go for the entry level developers, the people trying to break into the field. If you're not practicing algorithms, when the moment comes where someone's willing to give you an opportunity and then you, you drop the ball, on that opportunity you're gonna feel really bad about yourself because I've done that numerous times in my life and I don't want to see you guys doing that and so when you get the opportunity to p take some algorithm tests to pass those algorithms move forward I hope you take it up and I hope you're prepared right it's I always try to relate coding back to life and in this case you should study algorithms for a couple of reasons. One, it's going to help you get a job. Two, it's going to make you a better developer. It's just going to help you make it, get a job, make money. If you're already a developer, become a better one, make money, right? <laughs> so uh, I don't know why you make money. I make money so that I can live comfortably and so that I can uh, do the things I want to do, essentially. And we live in a great world where the better developer you are, the better the money is. And algorithms can help you get those better paying jobs, right? You're gonna, if you want to work at Google, you want to work at Facebook, you want to work at some company that you know, you're going to have to get good at algorithms. That's just the, the name of the game. That goes for all the games. <laughs> Pretty much all the games. I would say 9 out of 10 companies that I interviewed with, I interviewed about 10 before I took a job, there was an algorithm test or a logic test of some type. And I it's, it's pleasant actually going back and seeing myself do these algorithms now because when I first started learning JavaScript I was very poor at algorithms still and the first 40 or so took me a while on free code camp 
couple months, if I remember correctly. I'd have to look out because I pretty much put them out as I did them. It took me a couple months. I've done probably about 60 or 70 in the last four weeks while moving, so I feel like I've done progress. And these are a lot harder than the, the ones I did before. And why am I doing that? Well, why am I studying? I'm employed. I don't plan on going anywhere necessarily. But if an opportunity comes along, I want to be prepared. If fucking Microsoft sends me a thing, says, hey, I'm interested in, in you for this role. You're kind of unique with the YouTube and this is it. Uh, are you a developer? Yeah. Solve this algorithm. Cool. Whatever the case is, the point is you never know when opportunity is going to come. Be prepared for it. And the best way that you can prepare is by solving algorithms, building projects, and having and constantly working towards something, right? There are people, and I, I know someone very closely who had, doesn't have a computer science background. She, she studied algorithms constantly. All the computer science topics, the traditional um, you know, binary tree sorts, all that sort of stuff. And because of that, landed a six-figure salary in Silicon Valley with very little very little of a portfolio with a very little portfolio because she put in the work she generated the portfolio she could but she when the time came and the opportunity came she was ready and rose to the occasion so if you guys are struggling to get your get your your position going struggling to get that junior role and you don't know what to you don't know what to study algorithms 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 the site i'm currently practicing is on is code fights code fights is great because it will allow you, they'll actually, once you get higher up, they kind of use your rank in code fights to showcase to employers so that they can eventually get you jobs if, if, if you're at that level. And it's hard, guys. So if you're looking for easier algorithms, I suggest you start with free code camp, knock all, out, all the basic and intermediate out, and then move forward. And you'll find yourself struggling on certain ones. But what is, what is going to happen is sometimes you're going to, you're going to rise to the occasion, and sometimes you're going to need to look at additional resources. There's no shame in that. Where the shame is is when you don't compete, when you don't go forward, and you don't keep testing yourself. There's always going to be a better developer out there, guys. That's just a fact. Now, you, what your job is is not to worry about that developer, but to become the best developer you can be. And one way of doing that is with algorithms. Do what I'm going to do. Uh, do the algorithms and then put in your github if you a lot of people are worried about not having anything in their github Upload it to github show that you're making progress show that you're working These are all little things that you can do that will show an active You know, you've been doing a commit a day do an algorithm a day and and move forward if you get stuck on one Jump to a different one and go there. So again the site that site I'm using is code fights. I hope you guys enjoy it You'll see a lot of stuff from them in the future but as always guys thank you for watching the video don't forget to join our facebook group code tech and caffeine the link is in the description if you want to support me you can at patreon.com slash coding 360 as well as our discord channel it's all there guys i'll see you guys in the next video thank you so much for watching all right guys i actually forgot about the giveaway so uh i haven't fully set up a system just make sure that you like the video and subscribe and, or com and comment the keyword of the day. For last time, it was Angular. Thank you to angular-university.io for giving away the course. The next course we're going to be giving away is from the same site. We're going to be giving away a different course. We'll say, I think I said TypeScript this one. We'll give away. It's going to be a surprise, but it will be Angular related. Let's see who wins it. It is 127 comments. Randomly pick the winner and the winner is Jamal Mohammed Tamir One comment zero likes psych Move on baby. No, I'm just kidding uh, uh, You like the video I have no doubt so uh, we will have a more official system down the road, but um, I'll be sending Jamal the course code after this if you want to participate in today's giveaway, now remember every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday video, we're giving away a course. All you got to do is use the word algorithm. Use it in a sentence. Just put algorithm. Algorithm is the key word, boys. Use algorithm. You got to tell the, the video till Thursday night. See you guys next time. Hey, guys. Thanks for watching the video. Special thanks to our sponsors, Dev Mountain. If you're looking for a coding boot camp where tuition and housing is included, definitely check them out. Appreciate it, and I'll see you guys in the next video.